All right, we're back. The Dew Brothers, Max and Chubbs. Today, we're going for a little action. We're going back to 1991. And we did see this in the theater. We're going to be checking out the trailer for Terminator 2 Judgment Day. A lot of action. This, this brought it up to a new level. James Cameron Classic. Now, you can catch us. We're going to be doing a podcast about how to do feet terminators and cyborgs but that's for another day today we're going to be enjoying you had in 1984 that's when the first terminator dropped and you got to see what it was all about and this is when they gave you the liquid terminator but we're going to check it out and you know we're going to talk about it after but let's enjoy the trailer in three two one hmm <laughs> That sound alone, dun 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 dun, just became its own thing. I mean, when this came out, it was huge. Probably the biggest action movie of its time. Uh, Great effects. Soundtrack done by Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Well, no thanks. <laughs> what kind of the sucks. end. Yeah. His loyalty is to a child. Who sent you? You did. Thirty-five years from now, and he's an enemy. He's a Terminator like you, right? Not like me. Is the deadliest machine. That was what made it awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can Unknown. This time, there are two Terminator Two. You just can't go around killing people. Why? If you <laughs> thought you had seen it all. I mean, I think I'll still like the first one better. That was but, more horror type. This is more action yeah. type. But that's the cool part. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say. They just said him. I thought they were like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, name everybody. Yeah. He was the star. Mm. Now, you got the first look at the Liquid Terminator to the T-1000. And I like, and most people, the fact that you had a Terminator helping the humans. Yeah. You know, but it really didn't matter. He could just take a beating. But, Mm. like, and I don't know why he had to be a biker in every movie, but, you know. I mean... It'd be different if he was wearing like a Hawaiian shirt and I guess. cargo shorts, fanny but, pack. Yeah, that it changed the landscape of action for a while because yeah, that's when like the effects were good enough to do the liquid Terminator. You couldn't do that before, right? You know, and to come out the floor and I don't know, sentient sentient TV satellite radio knows I'm here, um, but the problem is kind of that after Terminator Two, they kind of. Because in Terminator 2, they stop Judgment Day. In Terminator 3, they literally say, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen no matter what. Yeah. And it does, which is like, okay, fate is what you make it. What, what? Mm-hmm. Um, and then they send the female. But yeah, it was such a big deal because like in the first movie, there is no John Connor. You're told about him. Right. You see him for a second in the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's about Sarah Connor. And they send a human back to help. And the second one, it's, okay, John's a teenager. I think he's 12 or 14 in the movie. And he's got foster parents, which that, you know, check out our podcast when it comes out on how to kill a Terminator or a cyborg or defeat yeah. the Terminator. But you have, you know, the stakes are a little bit higher. And love Robert Patrick as the T-1000. Yeah. Fun fact about him, if you watch the movie, when he walks normal, he has a limp. It's, I think it's an old football injury. I've heard in an interview oh, really? one day. Yeah. Fun fact about that. He was in uh, 
Oh, shoot. Um, There's a lot of things. No, but I saw him in something recently. He was in, uh, like, Dawn of the Dead, new one or something. Um, the last thing, like, I know he was in Dust Till Dawn too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. that was a good yeah, version of that. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, when he go rob a bank or something. Yeah. No. Now, pretty soon we're going to take a look at the last, <laughs> I think it's Terminator 6 by this time, you know, mm. uh, Dark Fate, which they just keep trying to revamp, but they yeah. should have stopped while they were ahead because after the Liquid Terminator, what are you going to do? You know, like there's so much less. Yeah, going I mean, on we'll there. talk about it when we get to it, but I, right. I've seen the trailer for the new one, and the new Terminator basically looks like a liquid Terminator. What? Yeah, I mean, they go biological, like they have hearts, but you know, because they're like, this is the most powerful Terminator ever, blah blah blah. Right. But it's like, it's not that different, you know. I mean, so yeah. if you're into it, definitely go back and check out the first two to see where it started, see where the action came from, because that's where the whole thing was built from. So. Stay tuned for more. You know, go in the dark, get some popcorn, watch anything you want. We're the Dude Brothers. He's Max. I'm Chubbs. Over and out.